Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you happen to be new here, my name's Jaden and I'm currently studying dentistry at the University of Bristol. But if you've seen me before, welcome back and hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Now for today, we're gonna to be talking about how to maximize your chances to achieve that A or A star in A-level maths. But although these tips may be focused on A-level maths a lot, a lot of these tips also apply for GCSE as well, so they'd still be useful. And to quickly get into it, my first point would be that you can't cheat maths. For me, maths was probably my hardest subject that I chose to do, but I managed to get an A in the end, which I'm very happy about. There is no shortcut to learning any of maths or doing past paper questions. You really just have to spend the time to learn and understand how everything works and how everything links together. But this all comes down to a lot of repetition, practice and general experience, which you will soon hopefully be exposed to. And from the start of year 12 to the end of sixth form or wherever you may be in your education, you will be able to improve by following any of these steps, which I'm going to talk about. So that was a quick first point. And my second point would be to focus on your weak areas. I just starting upon A-level math it's a lot of building upon GCC content and going a slightly a bit harder but as you start year 13 and as the hardest topics start to come by you'll notice a lot of topics where you may not be as strong on and you may start to find a lot of questions which you don't fully understand of how to get the right answer to and you may start learning content which you don't fully understand either so as you're going through the whole syllabus it's important to note down any things you may find you're struggling on or any weak topics which you should do more practice on and this is quite a common problem actually as a lot of people when they find something they can't do, especially in maths. They sort of neglect it and hope it doesn't come up in exams. But I found that the things you always hope that don't come up always end up cropping up in the exam, which is exactly not what you want to do. So make sure you focus a lot and give 100% effort into the things you may be weaker on. My third tip is maybe quite an obvious one if you've done a lot of maths or sciencey subjects in the past, but it's to do a lot of past papers and old spec past papers questions as well. Past papers not only allow you to practice what you've learnt in class and what you've learnt by yourself, but it also allows you to get more experience into what a real exam situation would feel like and how real exam style questions are like. If you've only been doing textbook questions, let's say, these exam questions will be completely different and you may be either surprised in a good way or a bad way as to how you perform. So you definitely want to do as many of these practice papers as you can on the run up to your exams or when you're practicing specific topics. I did OCR maths, but a lot of people do AQA, Edexcel and other examples like that. A lot of these examples are quite new, so you may not have as much access as other exam boards for previous past paper questions, but you can always go back to the old spec and do past paper questions there. Now these will still be similar to the real exam questions, but they may change up the marking a lot and some of the things won't be included. But if you're really struggling to find things to practice, I would definitely recommend going through the old spec, asking teachers for advice and doing as many questions as you can. As I found that for maths, one of the things that really helped was exposing yourself to a wide range of scenarios. I still think that the higher number of questions that you've seen and you've completed the higher chances that you would find the exam questions in the real exam easier than other people. And I think this is a big thing that other people miss out as well. Okay, so my next tip would be to use online resources like this. So I've got exam solutions, physics and maths tutor and TL maths here. And we'll first be looking at exam solutions. So obviously they do GCC, A-level, AS level and international stuff there. You can find past paper questions for GCC, um, all down there and a level stuff on their websites and you can go into click your exam board and find exact past paper questions on specific topics that you want so let's say you're doing equations of circles and then there you go you got the full papers and questions and answers right there but you can also find really useful worked videos somewhere here I think if you just go back a lot there we go so all the useful videos will be here somewhere. So you click A-level or whatever, and you see a tutorial video, but you click your exam board, and here we go. You can see all your pure maths, mechanics, stats, and all the further math stuff there. So you wanna click either tutorials or papers. Tutorials, you can see all of these topics, and they're all down here as well. So you just click the plus and they bring you to worked videos with examples and solutions, which are really helpful. And I'd recommend writing notes or doing whatever you do to learn from these videos as well. Now moving on to physics and maths tutor, this is the main question bank that I would recommend for any science or maths subjects. So we can do maths because we're doing a video on maths and you can see all these A-levels and all these different examples, which I'd recommend doing as many as you can. So let's say AQA and going into um, differentiation. Here we go, we have year one, year two, all of these notes, all of these questions by topics, worksheets, 
and everything you have here which is a lot more than you'd probably need but it's really good practice to do as many of these as you can they have full pass papers for everything and you just should explore this website and really make the most of it because these are really amazing resources that we shouldn't waste tl maths is another one that i found and this guy also has a really useful youtube channel which i learned a lot from as well but he has a website and you can explore everything on here as well so a level maths and do all the same things here he is there and it's been really useful. And there are many more useful resources online other than these three, but I'd recommend these are the big three ones that you want to use at the start and maybe branch off from there. The next tip is about asking for help when you don't understand something. And this could be asking teachers, tutors and anyone else that you may know that will be able to help you. Luckily my teachers were really helpful so I could ask them absolutely any questions or mark schemes to questions which I didn't understand fully. They would really take their time and explain it in ways that I would understand which would make me feel a lot more confident about my ability and would help me do further questions in the future. If you have any problems with asking questions in person or don't really feel comfortable there are also so many resources that you can use which don't include face-to-face -face interaction. One of the main websites that I'd recommend is the student room and it's basically a website site filled with loads of other students and adults and teachers that basically answer questions that you may ask. So you're basically typing out a question or inserting a picture and other students will really quickly reply to your message with an answer and worked mark scheme and you basically give each other ratings which is how the whole system works. It is surprisingly useful although it may seem a bit dodgy to a lot of people but I've also used it in the past where I've asked loads of questions and have found really helpful answers so I would highly recommend it. If you don't like doing this you can also be looking at tutorials, YouTube YouTube videos and things of this sort which I've already previously mentioned like TL maths exam solutions etc another point that I would stress is to use your school and your school's resources you can check with your school to see if they have any hidden past papers that you may be allowed access to or any textbooks which you may take home with worked questions and answers which may be useful as well I think people often overlook the use of school materials as so much information is online already but sometimes school resources can actually be really useful and all you have to do is just be willing to look for them and you may find that it will help you in the future so just be aware of all the things your school provides and be open-minded about the resources you choose as well. So my final tip, which I think is another vital piece of advice, is to make summary sheets or mistake documents which I did for all of my subjects. But this sheet should be basically an A4 sheet or multiple A4 sheets where you note down all your mistakes and all the things you've previously struggled on in either exam questions or in class. And you're basically making these documents which are really confined and really precise on what you need to learn since you've got them wrong before and you don't want to make that mistake again. These could be practice questions or notes that you've given to yourself, or it could be diagrams or paragraphs of text which help you learn better. But I feel like this is one of the main things that helped me throughout my whole A-levels as I constantly knew what I was doing wrong and I didn't want to make the same mistake again. So there we go, there are my main tips for maximizing your chances to do as well as you can in A-level maths. And obviously these tips won't work by themselves as you need to put in all the effort and you need to actually do the work in order to increase your chances of getting good grades. Also, side note, please check out my website. I've got a bunch of things on there about me which you can check out and things that you can buy that will help you in your education. So go check out my website. It's my name, which is Jaden Yee and then .com. Tell me what you think about in the comments and I'll reply to every single comment or any questions that you may have. But hopefully you found something or learned something new. If you're new here, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel as it really motivates me and helps me make more videos like this. And I hope to see all of you again, but even if I don't, I'm wishing everyone who's Jesus, the best of luck in everything you choose to do. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.